Hi everybody, this is Jaren with Collablog, back for uh, another post today, um, doing another video. I like the video format, I think it's a little easier for most people to kind of get what I'm, I'm talking about. Uh, some of the more technical bits I'll probably still keep uh, in written format, but if you have an idea for a video or a blog post, written format or video, uh, feel free to let me know, comment uh, here on the YouTube video or on the website. Uh, I'd love the ideas. I'm always looking for ideas to talk about. Uh, on that point, today's topic is uh, something that I've used quite a bit. Um, something that I think a lot of us uh, UC engineers have wanted, we, we've struggled with, and it's primarily in relation to uh, recordings for things like phone trees, contact centers, call centers. Uh, even just like facility reception desks, things like that. Anytime you have a prompt that you have to record, a lot of us will uh, either record it ourselves or ask somebody else and go through the process of waiting for somebody else to record it. Uh, honestly, my approach has been a little bit different. I like, if you've ever heard of uh, SSML, uh, it's Speech Synthesis Markup Language is, um, is what SSML stands for. Uh, it's a... I guess you could call it a programming language, but it's a markup language that you can use to um, add various types of maybe perhaps like intonation or pitch or inflection uh, into a, a text-to-speech um, to make it sound good. And I've gone through several of these different uh, applications that, that do text-to-speech. Um, the one I've kind of settled on that I've used quite a bit over the past couple of years and that I really like is the Azure Audio Content Creation Tool. I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to that. The Azure Content or Audio Content Creation Tool is um, it, it's, it's a very inexpensive but feature-rich uh, tool that I've used. You can even export directly into like a G711 format uh, for your speech. Um, this is the main website. Pricing, uh, I mentioned, is uh, relatively inexpensive. You can get a, a free instance uh, in your Azure account. You get five hours uh, of audio free per month. Five hours, that's, that's quite a bit uh, when we're talking about um, just recording things like menus and such. I think as much as I've used it in the past two years, I may have paid like three dollars total for this tool um, they've got some really good speeches um, just to give you an overview of how to get started um, you, you obviously have to create an azure account uh, you create a speech resource uh, and i'm going to give you the link to this page uh, all these pages actually in the uh, description below for here on youtube um, you sign in and uh, to your audio content creation tool and then, and then you just use it. Uh, and you can get the SSML code and you can upload SSML code if you have that already. You can um, use the tool however you like. But uh, so let's, let's go ahead and jump in just for a demo. Um, so I, I've already created my, my instance. Um, like I said, I've, I've used it quite a bit, so I went ahead and created a demo folder here for us to use, and let's just go ahead and jump right in and, and make a, a text file here. Um, so this is the tool. Uh, let me hide some of that stuff out of the way. We don't need to see that. So this is the general tool. Uh, up top, we have you know file. We can create a new one. We can save it, um, save as. You can export, and then there there's you can create templates as well. Um, you can switch between SSML mode uh, if you really wanted to create your own SSML uh, and just the regular text. Uh, over here on the right hand side is where most of your tools actually are. So um, right here, this, this is our, our big thing. This is the different voices. If you see the little circular in there, that means it's a neural voice. You can click on the little three menu to bring up more. Uh, some of these voices have different styles of speaking, which is uh, is really nice as well. Um, just so we can hear a couple of them, let's let's listen to Jimmy. 
Many think that the people you list as references are already cued to say nice things about you, and there are so many other ways to get information about a candidate now. Not bad. Uh, let's listen to Davis. He waved to acknowledge the crowd, and then he waved again. Not bad. Um, let me see here. I'm trying to remember which one I've used. It, it doesn't matter. Artificial intelligence, AI, is revolutionizing the way today's businesses compete and operate. I've lived enough to find out how much of a joke my life is. That's terrible. The proceeds from all auctions will be deposited in the U.S. She knows everything and everyone in the town, literally. So you can tell these these voices actually are pretty good voices. Um, if, if you're listening to it on a phone menu, you wouldn't know the difference, honestly. It, it, you know, it, if you hear this. She knows everything and everyone in the town, literally. You're generally not going to hear that and say, oh, that's just a computer. You know, like like most phone menus that you hear text to speech. This is actually really good voices. So I wanted to kind of go through a demo so that I could kind of show to you. Um, I, could, I could just demo some of these tools to you. So I'm going to paste in a, oh, I got too much. Uh, just a little bit of Shakespeare here. Um, thought it might work well. So, okay. So here's some Shakespeare. Um, Let's see here. Let's make that the same line because each line is going to add in a little bit of a, a pause in between. Um, do do to do. Too ambitious. So the group's fault. To answer here. Let's make that the same line. Mm -hmm. To a funeral, here's my friend, just me. Bruce says he was ambitious, and Bruce and I. So, okay, so now we've kind of got it in the format we want. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a voice. So let's, let's hear how Jenny would do this. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them, the good is oft interred with their bones. Not bad. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Yeah, let's 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 switch over to Davis. I think I like uh the Davis voice for this specific. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them, the good is oft interred with their bones. So let it be Okay, so I kind of like that. So let's let's uh, give it a, a speaking style. So you see there are various styles. Don't be cheating while I'm not there. There's nothing better than a cold drink on a hot day. I can't wait to see my favorite band. It was so nice meeting everyone here. What's important is to be able to see the light through the darkness. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's, let's try shouting because, you know, Romans... They're going to be shouting, right? Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often turned with their bones. Okay, so maybe that one doesn't work so great. So let's, we're going to assume he's speaking into a microphone because it's a recording, right? Let's try hopeful. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them, the good is oft interred with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus hath told you Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it was a grievous fault. And grievously hath Caesar answered it. Here, under leave of Brutus and the rest, for Brutus is an honorable man, so are they all, all honorable men. Come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. He was my friend, faithful, and just to me. Ooh. But Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. Okay, so what we notice there is in this line, instead of saying just, he said just, right? So this is where we can really use this tool. He was my friend, faithful, and just to me. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the word just, and we're going to come over here to pronunciation, and we can actually change the way that this is going to pronounce the word just. So here's the original. Just. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let's give it that. Uh, uncle just, yeah, I think that's pretty close, right? Um, just, 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 that sounds pretty good, right? Just, 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 that's what we want is just. Okay, so, so let's hear that now. He was my friend, faithful, and just to me. That's, that's quite a bit better, I think. Um, I, I feel like this line... Come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. Could use a little bit of uh, intonation, inflection, if you will. So let's come down here to intonation. Highlight our line, and let's click on intonation. So here's the original. Come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. Let's, let's add some intonation here. So if I'm saying it out loud, come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. So I'm going to highlight Caesar and maybe speak. But then I kind of want it drop down. Come I, come I. So it's going to go down at I to speak in Caesar's funeral. So that, that kind of wave that you see there, I'm just analyzing how I would say it um, and matching that into the diagram. So here's the original again. Come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. And then here's with the intonation. Come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. Ooh, I like that. that it is kind of strong though, right? So let's come down. Come I to speak, bring that down too, in Caesar's funeral. Let's add one more. Oh, we can only add up to five points. That's okay. You could split it up. Come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. Come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. That's, that's pretty good, right? So now... Give these two lines. Come on to speak in Caesar's funeral. He was my friend, faithful, and just to me. Maybe, maybe add a little bit of a break there. So let's, oh, here, don't highlight. So let's put a weak break right there. Faithful and just to me. He was my friend, faithful, and just to me. Maybe an extra week break right there, huh? What do y'all think? Pretty good, right? He was my friend, faithful, and just to me. To me? Let's do a little bit of intonation. Bring that down. Oh, can't do intonation on a break. <laughs> to me. To me. To me. There we go. He was my friend, faithful, and just to me. That's pretty good. I like the way that turned out. Now, obviously, I've done a lot more work uh, on this than you would probably typically do. But this just kind of highlights, I mean, we're, we're not even 15 minutes in and we've already given this whole speech um, and given an inflection and corrected words. And uh, this is just an example of how you can use. I mean, there's also pitch and rate and volume and uh, there's just so much you can do here. And this tool, and like I said, it makes it sound so good. Now, once you've created your, your text file, 
Um, obviously, we need it in a format that we can use, right? So let's let's export this. Let's export to local disk. Audio format, you can select your format. Now, obviously, if it's for a phone system, we're going to have to go down to an 8K wave um, for that G711 format, right? Uh, you can download along with it the plain text and the SSML files if you want that. And then you can either the select the content or each paragraph, you can select that. If you select just a single line, then the select the content obviously would just be that one line. Um, or each paragraph generates a piece of audio, meaning each line here would create its own audio file. So we're just going to do the whole thing because I don't think I have anything highlighted at the moment. So now we have our file. Let's go ahead and extract it. And pull it up. So now here we have our SSML file. Oh, maybe I did just get that one line. Oh, well, it's, it's okay. Um, we're just demoing anyways. We have our plain text. He was my friend, faithful, and just to me. So I did have that one line highlighted, but it's okay. So let's let's listen to it. He was my friend, faithful, and just to me. Sounds pretty good, right? So then you could just take that, upload it to your uh, your content, your contact center uh, prompt, or, or whatever you're using it for. Um, but as you can see, the tool. Uh, is really useful. It doesn't take long to use. It means you're not going to be waiting hours for somebody else to record or, you know, God forbid, putting your own voice on a phone menu, which, you know, I don't think most of us like to do. I certainly don't. Um, so in this sense, you can have, you know, a really good, um, you have a really good recording, professional sounding. Uh, so it doesn't sound kind of, I don't want to say amateurish, but amateurish uh having somebody you know just pick up the phone and of course that person inevitably will always slam the phone back down so at the end of the recording you hear the you know as they put the phone down you don't have to worry about any of that with this it's text to speech it's it's i don't want to say it's free but it's pretty close to being free and i mean it's a great tool honestly so if if you don't have it i i would highly recommend trying this tool out it's a great tool i think Everybody will, will really like it. Again, this is the Azure Audio Content Creation Tool. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've used this or if you've used another tool. Um, and uh, hey, you know, just, just to let me know you're, you're here, hit the, the like and subscribe button.